Super Mario GVT presents Super Mario Galaxy The Starry Beginnings Gold Leaves and Sea Slides Hello everyone, this is Super Mario GVT and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy The Starry Beginnings Let's get started by going to Gold Leaf Galaxy. Welcome to Gold Leaf Galaxy, Star Bunnies on the Hunt. When you first land on the Reverse Kingdom Planet, you will run into a Star Bunny. He will reveal that the other Star Bunnies are looking for blue star chips, which you will need to find. As you've noticed, the five star chips are the clues to where the respective blue star chips are. You will need the beam mushroom to look for blue star chips in higher areas. Once you've found all five blue star chips, pull stars and a launch star will appear near the stars.
Use the pole stars to reach the launch star. It will take you to the Bump Pier Planet, where you will find a lone star bunny. You will need to chase after it. Ground pound of the switch makes it easier to do it. Once you caught the Star Bunny, he will give you the Power Star. Welcome to Gold Leaf Galaxy, Catacoy to the Skies. You will start off by landing on the Reverse Kingdom Planet. When you reach the first Catacoy in the Fenston area, have it launch into the Sling Star. Activate it to take you to the upper portion. Grab the beam launcher from the lily pad and head over to the two canoclans. Wake one of them up to have it launch you and use your bee suit to fly to the upper platform. Use another cataclan to reach the evermost area. Follow the walkway until you reach a fountain-like area containing a launch star, which will take you to the Poihana Relay Planet. Here, lure a catacoid to its symbol. It will launch you to the Poihana Maze Planet. Here, you will need to destroy crates to clear paths for the catacoid to follow you to the catacoid symbol. Once you and the Kanakoi reach the symbol, have it launch you to the M-Shade Relay Planet.
On this planet, lure a catechoid to the end of the planet to reach the launch star. It will take you to the flower planet. Here, lure a catechoid to the spot where the bee mushroom is above. Once in bee form, lure a catechoid and use the bee suit to reach the top of a Jenga light tower. Navigate the flower platforms to reach the power star at the end. Welcome to Gold Leaf Galaxy. When it rains, it pours. You will end on the Reverse Kingdom Planet like in the last two missions. Work your way to a rain cloud and find a bee mushroom on top of it. Now continue along the flower platforms and use the bee suit to reach the wooden platforms ahead. Make sure not to go under the rain clouds, otherwise you will lose your bee suit. can, however, use them as platforms to reach the next set of wooden platforms. At the end, there are two trampolines. Use either one to reach a swinging vine, or use a bee suit to reach a circular area. Keep your distance from the rain clouds while you use your bezu to reach the upper levels. Woo! <laughs> 
Once you reach this level, ground pound the stone to cause a sprouted vine to appear. Take it to reach the observation deck where you'll find an underground gunner. When you are battling him, you will need to watch it for bubbles. That way, you can use your B powers to reach the glassy cat which will need a ground pound. But if you do lose the bee suit, you can activate a switch to cause platforms to temporarily rise up, allowing you to reach his weakness. Ground pounding it three times will take him down and reveal a power star. Welcome to Gold Leaf Galaxy, the bell on the big tree. It takes us during the second mission. This time, when you reach this area in the Reverse Kingdom planet, look for a bubble blower. Hop inside the bubble, then move upwards to find a bell. We get to make musical notes appear. Collect them all before they disappear to reveal the power star.
Welcome to Go Leave Galaxy, Cosmic Mario Forest Race. You will land on the Reverse Kingdom Planet. After taking a couple of steps, a Cosmic Clone of yours will appear. You have to race into the Power Star. Just make sure to go faster, otherwise you might get it. Now, let's go to Sea Sly Galaxy. Welcome to Sea Slide Galaxy, going after Guppy. Yes. You will land on an island on the Sea Slide planet. The penguins are feeling terrified that a sea creature named Guppy is preventing them from racing. When you reach Guppy, he will give you a challenge. The challenge is to swim through eight rings he leaves behind. Swim through them quickly before they disappear. Once you made it through all eight rings, Guppy will reward you with a power star.
Welcome to Sea Sly Galaxy, Underwater Cosmic Mario Race. You will land on an island on the Sea Sly Planet. After taking a few steps, your cousin Doppelganger will appear. You will have to beat him to reach the Power Star at the back of the tower. Grab a red shell while in the water to keep up with him. And make sure to go through boost rings to gain some speed. Welcome to Sea Slide Galaxy, faster than a speeding penguin. After landing where the race takes place, talk to the red penguin. Would you accept the race? Let's go! As you are racing, you will need to grab a red shell or spin to catch up to the penguins. There are also boost rings that will give you more speed. Once you made it first back to the starting line, the Red Penguin will give you a gold medal, which is actually a Power Star.
After grabbing the star, a hungry Luma will appear beside the engine room. And that is part 9 of Super Mario Galaxy The Starry Beginnings. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next part.